What's up, guys? This is Red Tools. Today, I want to show you a Japanese knife I made. Uh, this is not a full tang knife. This is like traditionally um, constructed Japanese leather knife. Uh, this is 24 mil left-handed version. You know, I cut out the wood piece of wood chunk of wood like this so that I can you know put my thumb like this and I'll grab it like this. You know, it's very traditional Japanese uh, leather knife grip. You know, I can rest my thumb here so that you know it, it feels really comfortable. Although it's it doesn't look cool as the regular handle. Let me let me show you like this. Uh, this is different knife. Uh, this is a, a carving knife I made with a high speed steel. But actually, uh, the handle should look like this. But I carved at the end, so it it looks like this. You know, it it look, kind of look funky. But this blade is a scary sharp. Okay, let me show you guys in this thing's action. Uh, this is a vegetable tanned leather, uh, about a 1.8 mil or 2.0 mil thick. Um, this knife cuts leather like nothing. Okay, it's sharp and it's very strong. You, uh, most leather knives are pretty thin nowadays, but this one has really thick, thick steel and it has a good grind. So it's both sharp and very strong edge. Okay, cut it. Yeah cut it and like this this is you know I, I've once made video about how to use Japanese knives you know you you dip the tip first and you draw and you just cut okay dip draw and cut okay that way you can make a accurate cut and you can make a smooth straight cut okay um, like I said in the previous video, um, these narrow blades are good for curving or making small leather goods, but wider ones are good for straighter lines and bigger leather goods because you, you have to make big long lines more. Okay, as you can see, this knife cuts leather like nothing. Okay, it's pretty thick. But this knife cuts without any problem. Okay, this knife cuts and cuts. Maybe some corners. Oops. It's a O1 tool still. It's very sharp. You know, I heat treat. I once heat treat this blade, um, very bad. So I reheat treat it. So it's now a very good edge with the shiny uh, polished edge. And I tried to make my uh, maker's mark, but it it's, it's, it didn't turn out great. Uh, kind of misprinted it. Uh, this is my user knife, so I guess just uh, I when you know just I just made it. But uh, it's nice to have a maker's mark on the end, on the back. It's going to be my user knife uh, in the future. Okay, self-made, homemade, Japanese traditional style. Red knife, not a full tank construction. You can save a lot of steel, but still, I prefer a full tank knife. This is just a carving knife, but you can cut leather. You know, I carve wood just for fun sometimes, but I prefer steel and leather work better. 
woodwork is also fun but uh, I would prefer you know just uh, leather working at the steel metal work metal working okay just simple sheath I made this one is uh, water molded to the to shape so it's uh, kind of looks like this you know it'll be better to be stitched but um, I just leave it like this you know just to see so, you know just simple all right that was about it and I will see you guys next video bye bye